Hi guys, this is Steve from Pyeongchang Branch again, and I'm going to be doing the video blog today for uh, Bridge C2 Day 2 Unit 2. Um, so for this week, the project is that they had to create a news report about the use of gene doping in sports. And so what I'm planning on doing for this project is they're still going to be doing a news report, or they can even do a talk show. And in their project, I'm going to have them imagine what happens one year after all the different organizations have allowed gene doping in sports. And I'm going to have them think about who has this had a positive impact on and who has this had a negative impact on. In terms of the roles, I'm going to try to have a, I'm going to try to narrow it down to about four different roles of people that they can interview on this show or news report. Um, the four roles were going to be uh, athletes. So they'll, one, of, one person or two people in the group will pretend to be athletes that have gone through gene doping. Um, the other role that they could have is fans, how fans feel about the use of gene doping. Um, I'm also going to allow for former athletes, um, so athletes that used to be great before but now have become kind of irrelevant now that gene doping has been allowed in sports, as well as uh, maybe the referees of these events and how they feel about the use of gene doping in sports. Uh, in terms of props, what I'm planning on doing it is I'm going to bring in uh, various types of sports equipment that I have or uh, borrow some from other teachers. For example, I got basketball here. Um, I also have baseball bats, tennis rackets, uh, and let's see here. badminton rackets, um, anything that you can find that might help the kids uh, enjoy the project a little bit more. Um, hats, sunglasses, uh, anything you can think of that has to do with sports. Um, I'm also planning on bringing in like socks or shirts that they can maybe like stuff into their own shirts to make themselves look bigger and stronger. Um, I think the kids will enjoy that. I think it will be fun for them uh, to do that, uh, just to make their muscles look bigger and like look how strong I am after gene doping. Um, in terms of applications, to help them think of ideas for uh, their news report, um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have them download the Guinness Book of World Records app, and so what they can do with this application is when they are uh, creating their interview questions, maybe one of the interview questions can be about how they have like destroyed all the Guinness records in their particular sport, um, just to give them ideas about what to talk about in their interviews because I know Bridge Kids have a lot of trouble coming up with ideas, so I'm gonna try to think of as many things as possible that they can use in their interview. Um, I'm also going to be using the FX Guru app, and uh, specifically I'm going to be using the breaking news uh, option that is on there. Uh, you might want to be careful with that app because it only records for a certain amount of time, uh, just to let you know. I've noticed when I used it yesterday, it would only record for about a minute or so, um, and that wasn't enough time for my group, so I had to switch back to the other camera after I used that, uh, just to forewarn you. Um, I'm also going to be using the normal camera that is provided in the app. Um, another application, so earlier I talked about how like I might have them use socks or pillows or something to like uh, show how they've gotten bigger or stronger. And one cool thing that they can do is uh, there's this application called Lapsit. And so what they can do for this application is it's kind of like stop motion. So it kind of like take a, takes a picture every millisecond or second. And so it kind of shows a progression of like maybe how they got bigger and stronger as they go. I thought the kids might enjoy that. Um, so I was either planning on using Lapsit if they like that one, or there's another one called A Thumb Cut. And so what you can do with this is it's kind of like Photoshop. Um, you can kind of put one picture on top of another picture or cut out things from a specific picture. Uh, so for example, here I have myself on Michael Jordan's body. So I thought the kids might enjoy, like, they can put themselves next to, like, their favorite athlete and show how much bigger they are than that athlete. Uh, I thought they would enjoy that. So I probably wouldn't do both applications, Lapsit and a thumb cut, unless my kids are incredible and very good with technology. I'm probably going to have them just choose between one of those. Um, when they're doing their presentation, uh, I'm definitely going to be assigning roles uh, for them and... I'm going to make sure that every person in the group has at least maybe seven to ten sentences and each sentence is about five to ten words. Um, so when they are doing their interview with the person, I'm also going to make sure they don't give one word answers. Like 
Uh, for example, I know one of the questions will be like, how do you feel about gene doping? And the student will say, good. So I'm not going to allow them to do that, uh, just so that their output is a lot better. So once again, uh, I'm going to tell them your answers cannot be one sentence or one word answers. You have to elaborate on whatever you say. Um, and that every person in the group has to speak about seven to ten sentences. Um, and if they finish before that, then they got to try to practice more and see how long their presentation is. I'm, I'm really trying to get their presentations to be around five minutes if possible. So yeah, that's, that's it for this week. Uh, I think it will be a pretty fun project. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.